My reaction by first seeing Cave Lightning McQueen. Eh, alright. But when I got him... Oh my goodness, he's literally the best thing I ever got! And hello everybody, how are you doing? This is Tanner and today we're going to be doing an individual review of the Color Changers Cave Lightning McQueen. I picked this guy up in March 25th, which in fact was my birthday, and I did review him in March 26th. But I decided to do an individual review, just like with Revo Cost, and also with an upcoming car, that's jamming. But anyways, let's move these two to the side, and let's get to looking at the packaging. So in the name tag says Cave Lightning McQueen with the water bubbles in the background. Two in one, which means two colors in one Lightning McQueen. There's a vehicle inside. If you guys can see, there's the map in the background. There's his artwork, which is Cave Lightning McQueen, transforming from red to this very ugly green. Cars on the Road logo in the top left corner. Color Changers logo in the top right corner. Desert in the background, of course. In the back, as you can see, Color Changers. 0 to 10 Celsius, zero to 10 Celsius turns them red. 35 to 42 Celsius turns into that very ugly color. Lightning McQueen or Cave Lightning McQueen in multiple languages, and Color Changers logo in multiple languages as well. Anyways, let, oh, let's get to unboxing Cave Lightning McQueen. And here is Cave Lightning McQueen right out of the packaging. So Cave Lightning McQueen appeared in the first episode of Cars on the Road, Dino Park. In Mater's imagination, or should we say, dream. But anyways, let's take a look at Cave Lightning McQueen. But first, if you guys are liking this video, please make sure to leave a like, leave a comment. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, and also hit the bell, so that way you guys won't miss any new updates when Champion Racer Collection updates. And also, I'll be leaving the breakdown of Dino Park episode in the description below. But anyways, enough any more talk. Let's get to reviewing Cave Lightning right McQueen. In the front, there's this big open mouth. He looks quite worried. On the right side, there's nothing, just blank red. I like how the wheels are made out of stone with bamboo hubcaps or axles. The exhaust pipes are also made of bamboo. In the back, there's his spoiler, which we will talk about a little bit more in a second. There's no tail lights on him, as you can see he's already changing color. Same thing on the other side, but flips. He has worried eyes, there's big ass forehead, and there's a spoiler which is made out of bamboo sticks with some string. I don't know the exact term, I know it in Portuguese, Liliana, Liliana, Shmesh, but I don't know how to say it in English though, I don't know how to say it. But anyway, here is the color changers. On the Road McQueen, which I did do a review of, which I'll also leave the link in the description. Okay, here is also Rumbler McQueen. Besides the Road Trip Lightning McQueen, which I left in package, which I am going to be opening up right now, or reopening. Besides this cave, not cave, besides the Road Trip Lightning McQueen, these two are the main red Lightning McQueens from Cars on the Road. The cave one and the rubber one. And then there's some other versions like the... Actually, there's another red version of Lightning McQueen which is a little bit iconic. Which is the Cryptid Buster Lightning McQueen. Anyways... There's not much differences between the Rumbler and the Cave Lightning McQueen. The only, the only similarity I know that both of them have is that they are both, of course, Lightning McQueens from Cars on the Road. And just for laughs and giggles, we're going to bring the diecast on the road, Lightning McQueen. Anyways, time to do some color changing. 
Okay, guys, I'm back and I have here the hot, no, the hot and cold water here. Right now, here is Cave Lightning the Queen and where is this packaging? Here it is. So as you can see, cold is red, so we're gonna place him in the hot water. Whoa. Oh, hold on, hello. That's not that ugly green color from the packaging. On that damn packaging. Here it is. Yeah, oh, that was close. But that's not the same type of green. Anyways, I want to see red now. Ooh. That's actually a beautiful red. And as you can see, there is water droplets in the wall because it accidentally spilled quite a bit of water. But anyways, here is the... Um... Cave Lightning McQueen, not Cave Lightning McQueen, what am I talking about? The On the Road McQueen, and what the heck? I think this McQueen also changed, I think this rim also changed its color because first it was red, now it's brown. For some reason the water is not, for some reason this is now brown. Anyways, let's change him. And I can use, even use the water droplets to color him. Like, watch this. Yeah, it kind of worked. But anyways, let's turn him back to red because that's what the color I like to see him in. Oh, yeah. Beautiful red, how he should be. Let's turn this card back to red because I do see some spots in that ugly color. Let's turn him. I have an idea. Let's leave his forehead Um, only... I have an idea. Let's leave his forehead that disgusting color. Let's try to turn him everything red and uh, leave that four color that, that, that forehead that ugly color. Oh, damn it. I kind of ruined it. Nothing a bit of water can't fix. There. Ugh, fuck! Ugh, come on, just don't drop him then. There we go. There we go. Wait, let me just slide these a little bit closer. Oh, and I just realized, an ice cube fell out. Anyways, that's basically it for the review of Cave Lightning McQueen. Let's try to turn him like half and half. There we go. So that's basically it for the review of Cave Lightning McQueen. So thank you so much for watching Champion Racer Collection signing out. See you guys in the next video.